be very quiet. I'm hunting mushrooms. Well, looky there. There's one. Usually if there's one, there's another one. So let me show you something. One thing you want to have with you when you're mushroom hunting is some sort of a knitted or a uh, net. You want to have some sort of a net bag and usually the ones that have like oranges or onions or something like that in it is perfect and these these will actually stretch and expand out to be pretty large now some bugs have ate the top of this off but that don't matter what matters is you don't take all of it you want to pinch it off just like that so you're going to leave some of the spores behind then you put your mushroom in your bag and as you carry this around in your hand the spores from this mushroom are going to be dropping everywhere and you're basically spreading the spores around to populate again you know as you walk it's going to bounce the spores are going to fall out and that's basically how you hunt mushrooms. Now yesterday was a really hot day. And I'm not too sure if that's going to affect today or not. This mushroom, by the way, is at least a day old. I can tell just by looking at it. Plus the bugs have started to eat on it. It's at least a day old. They're not up in huge numbers, it looks like, but they're up. Because when they're up in huge numbers, you find one, you usually find a whole bunch. Right there is another one. As you can see, they're kind of hard to see. Now usually when I'm crouched down on the ground like this, 
is also when I'm scanning the ground. You would be surprised how many you miss. that you've walked over because they are pretty hard to see. And I think that one reason why a lot of people miss them is because they're just walking too fast. And although they think they are looking at the ground, they really aren't. Does that make sense? Makes sense to me. I know what I'm talking about. Oh, looky right there. See? I just walked past one. Oh, there's two, actually. See them? That one. That one. Now, True moral mushrooms have a hollow stem. If you pick one that looks just like this and it doesn't have a hollow stem, it's a fake moral and it can make you sick. That's the only thing you have to know. If the stem is hollow and it looks like a moral, it's a moral. If the stem is solid and looks like a moral, it's not a moral. There's another one right up here. Kind of sticks out like a sore thumb. Can you see it? Again, when I'm crouched down like this, I'm looking around on the ground because the angle that you view these at really makes a difference. This is actually an area I walked through just a few minutes ago and totally overlooked this one. And while I'm looking at this one, I noticed right over there is another one. Less than five feet away. Probably in the video it looks a lot farther away. So that's kind of why I said when you find one, make sure you scan the ground, the area where you're at. I'm actually going to leave this bag here. See, I left some air in the ground. I'm actually going to leave this bag here. So you can see how close this was. So there's where the one is at. The other one is right here. I can literally touch the bag. Right there. So again, that's why you want to scan the ground when you find one. There's almost always more than one. 
depending on the temperature and weather. We're actually going to get a pretty good rain today. And, I mean, the morals are up today, but they're not really up in, like, huge numbers. But I'm afraid it's going to get too warm for them to even come up at all. So I want to go ahead and get these. Oh well, that's about all the tips I can think of. And uh, I'm just going to keep looking, but you know, this video is going to get really long if I just show you every single moral. So, anyways, that's how I do it. As always, thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. God bless you. God bless your families. God bless your homesteads.